Welcome to INS TV. We are here with Mr. Nicholas Osbert, the UNICEF India Watch Chief. Hello, sir. Welcome to INS TV. Pleasure. Five years' time is considering the size of the issue and the complexity of working in India with such a diverse population is really like a world record. If you compare to other countries such as Thailand, it took them like four years. And, and five years is, is really a world record. This being said, it's very important that the government invests on what comes next. Those achievements need to be sustained. And I'm happy to mention that for the past 12 months now, before even the, the Swatch Bharat mission was coming to an end, we have been working under the lead of the government on what comes next. And, 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 and that's really important to us as well. Open defecation free is an achievement at a certain point in time, but it needs to be sustained and it needs to be complemented by other changes that must happen in the field so that this risk of oral fecal contamination, meaning people ingesting fecal material, fecal matters and getting viral disease uh, uh, comes to an end. And, and the first step is owning and using a toilet, but based on that, Based on this revolution, we in UNICEF have a lot of hopes that we can build on this to sustain and to do more. Let's remind ourselves that back in 2014, I was told talking about open defecation in India was a taboo, even with the government or with the communities. So now India is maybe has the best experts in the world in the issues of sanitation. So the battle continues, but based on those achievements, there is great hope that we can continue to promote this change. And the last point on that, a lot of country comes to learn what has happened in India. India was known to the world as one of the worst places in terms of hygiene and open defecation practices. One year ago, 55 ministers of sanitation came to India to learn about the Swatch Bharat mission, to provide feedback, and we supported that, that event and they went back to their countries very much inspired. If India can make it with all the problems they have, so can we. So that's, that's the lessons learned. Let's not sleep on our laurels. There is still a lot to do and, uh, and, uh, we, and what comes next is all the more important. We in UNICEF invested on behavior change like 15 years ago, understanding that our added value for development is not only on technical aspects, how to build a toilet, how to build a pipe water scheme, but it's rather on behavior change, the whole science behind it. And, and we were very much happy to be trusted and associated to the government so that they bring this behavior change movement at such an impactful and very large scale. So UNICEF has been on the ground zero for a very, very long time now. Do you see there are there is a scope of improvement for what the present strategy has been and especially what is the road ahead with the birth anniversary coming this year, the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is partially concluded this year. What do you see a road ahead and what are the biggest scope for improvement for Indian strategy in the market? Sure. The before after Swachh Bharat mission picture is very contrasted. What I'm saying, the change is drastic is measurable, is visible, but the battle continues. So, first of all, some people still don't have toilets because they are newcomers, migrant populations. So there's pockets of, of, of households without toilets. Also, some of the toilets became different, either because they were not built properly or because they were affected by floods. So, this need, those toilets need to be retrofitted and, and rehabilitated. Then there is the whole issue of fecal sludge management. Congratulations, people use a toilet, fecal matters are contained in a toilet, what comes next? If you have a twin pit toilet, you are most probably on the safe side because you can alternate one pit to another. But if you have a septic tank or if you have a sewerage system, then you need to manage the fecal sludge. If this fecal sludge is not managed properly, it goes back in the environment, it goes back in water, it goes back on the hands, 
And at the end of the day, it goes back in the belly, especially of children who, who are very much vulnerable to this. They, so, um, so fecal sludge management, solid waste management, grey water management. Grey waters are the water coming out of the kitchens of the shower. If you just let them run outside, they pollute and they disperse the resource. You need to do a soak away pit, let them go back on the ground so that they don't contaminate anything and they recharge the underground water. Sir, what are the plans of UNICEF going ahead in the road? Because since Swachh Bharat Mission is almost now concluded, you have mentioned Swachh Bharat Mission Plus that is coming out. But apart from that, what are the recent plans for UNICEF that we are set to see in Indian society? So, we are also quite very happy about the drive from the Indian government for water supply. And this program on water supply aims to provide tap water to every house. But again, the clever move here is not just about infrastructure. It's also about water conservation. Again, about behavior change. Our individual responsibilities to preserve water, close the tap, use what we need and not more. A recent report looking at Asian countries was showing that in India we extract more underground water than the USA and China combined. 80% of this is for agriculture. So we will support that very much. Um, we will support continuous behavior change. We will continue to support what's happening because this work on the Swatch Bharat is not just for communities, it's also looking at schools, health facilities and Anganwadi centers. And so that we continue to support and looking at how people are handling house, uh, uh, water at the house. If you provide safe water at the tap, doesn't mean that the water doesn't get contaminated afterwards. So these are the type of things that we are going to do. And the last point here, what is very interesting of what comes on what comes next is that the government is, and I think in a relevant way, targeting the grassroots level. The Sarpanches, the Swachagrahis, those grassroots volunteers, the women's self-help group, the extension workers from the health, um, ACHA workers, and, and because this is where the sustainability lies. When we have that campaign, states and districts had a major role, but to sustain and for water as well, it needs to happen at the GP level and this is exactly the capacity development that we are supporting today. Thank you for talking to us sir. Namaste. Namaste.